he gets his eggs carried. Uh, well, actually, Ty Tech every week, but uh, this is a little bit different for me because this is my second channel now, and uh, my first channel, X Carried, uh, that's my main channel. It got uh, two of my vi two of my videos got false flagged, and because of that, uh, it resulted in a ban of my account for uh, I think it's two weeks, and I can't post videos or like look at my subscriptions or pretty much do anything on my uh, X Carried account as of now. Uh, I think it I think it's unbanned on June twenty fourth. But anyway, uh, two of my videos got false flagged, and then both got removed, and that resulted in two strikes on my account within six months, and that account now got banned. Um, both of the videos definitely, uh, there was nothing wrong with them. The only thing that could be wrong with them was uh, copyright because of music, uh, but that's all. They shouldn't have been flagged for spam or anything like that, but they were. And um, I'm now uh, trying to deal with this issue. I appealed to the video, I appealed to the video, and uh, hopefully that just gets resolved as soon as possible. Uh, but as of now, I did make a second account so I can post some videos and try to keep you guys updated. Um, uh, most of my subscribers are probably not going to be able to even know that I made a second channel. Uh, but I still wanted to post some videos on this channel just in case some of you guys did uh, figure out that I had a second channel and you subscribed to it. So uh, my plans for this channel, I still don't know. Uh, it may just be a temporary account just uh, because of this happening. And it may end up being another second account that I might always start posting videos on. Uh, I just don't know how I'm gonna uh, separate both of my accounts because my ex carried one. Uh, I don't know that one has all tech stuff and this one's gonna have all tech stuff, so there's no point to separating both of them. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, uh, but hopefully I'll figure that out also. Uh, you can see uh, right on iTunes it says 5.0 right there, the software version, and on my device uh, you can see right here if we go into the general settings tab, uh, right here software version 5.0. And you can also see that it's background syncing right now. And I got reminders, newsstand, uh, I got the notification center and the widgets. So you're going to need two different programs because I've been trying to restore and it hasn't been working unless I do it this way. There's one program called Tiny Umbrella you can see right here. Another program called Ponish Tool. And I got a website right here. Uh, there's a program called IRB RC4. And uh, this is kind of gives you a DFU mode. Uh, it kind of shows you how to do it. And uh, here on this program, it shows you how to put, do it DFU. For Windows users, you can use this program. For Mac users, you can use a program called Ponage Tool. And you can see the Ponage Tool is right here. So we're going to open that up. And we're also going to go ahead and open up Tiny Umbrella. Uh, so now, and here's hit OK. So in this program, we're going to hit this device and you're going to hit DFU. But we're not going to do that yet. Uh, in this program called uh, called Tiny Umbrella, you're gonna hit Start TSS Server over there. And what the TSS Server does is it skips the verification with Apple. So once we get that uh, started, you're gonna just minimize that and keep that running and make sure it's running. And now here's that program for Windows. You're just gonna download that. So let's quit out of that. All right, so we're in Polish tool now, and let's go ahead and start this DFU mode process. You do not have to have the device powered off because if you do, the program won't recognize it. Uh, I'm not sure how the IREB program works. But it should, but it should work in a similar way. So how you enter DFU mode is you hold the power button, home button together for 10 seconds, and then after that you release the power button and continue holding the home button for another 10 seconds. And uh, the program opponent tool will show you how to do this. So let's press DFU mode now, and it counts down from five seconds. All right, so you're pressing both of the power, you're pressing the power and home button together for 10 seconds now. And uh, once it finishes, you release the power button. So you do that now. And I just keep holding it for another 10 seconds until iTunes recognizes it's in DFU. There we go. And I continue holding it. Just keep holding it until this until Pointer's tool uh, says that it's been entered into DFU mode. All right, so it did work now. So you can release the power button now. You can OK. You can exit out of Pointer's tool. Make sure the TSS server. Make sure that make sure the TSS server and uh, Tiny Umbrella is still running, and you can see it is. So now in iTunes, you're going to hit Option Restore if you're on Mac. On Windows, you're going to hit uh, Shift Restore. And then you're going to browse for your IPSW file. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's a stock one. Here's all my stock ones. Or if it's a jailbroken one that you use with either Pointage Tool or uh, Snow Worries. So either way, it doesn't matter. I'm actually going to restore it to a custom one that has Cydia. Um, so that's actually why I'm downgrading from iOS 5 because I want the jailbreak. Uh, so you can see it is 4.3.3. .3. So hit Restore and it will extract the firmware. And uh, iOS 5 has been jailbroken, it's just not a sturdy uh, jailbreak, so I just I want to downgrade. Uh, so it's preparing the iPad for restore. The screen went white, and now it's uh, starting it up. So it's uh, preparing the iPad for restore. 
and now on there it's got the spinning dial and now it's loading it up so you can see it's working I didn't get any error messages uh, and now it's for find iPod restore with Apple but uh, it shouldn't matter because we got that TSS server running uh, so I'll be back when this finishes up alright guys so it finished restoring you can not see it's powered on and uh, I'm setting it up right now as a new device so we're going to hit done so now uh, on the device we're going to decide to unlock we're going to hit settings general about and version 4.3.3 so you can see we successfully uh, downgraded from iOS 5 which Apple or someone said that we weren't able to do so that's all guys uh, if you like this video go ahead and thumbs it up and subscribe for more videos like this if you have any problems or have any questions or comments or anything like that go ahead and uh, feel free to send me a message either by email uh, a direct message or comment on the video and I'll respond to you shortly uh, this was my first video for iTech every week and uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing with this account yet like I said before uh, it might just be temporary. It wouldn't make too much sense to have two different tech accounts. So hopefully I'll figure out what I'm going to do with uh, both of these channels now. Again, my ex account is banned. So hopefully uh, all that issues there get resolved uh, as soon as possible. And I can start making videos again on that account. But as of now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the account. Uh, so if you would like to, uh, go ahead and subscribe to it. Uh, also, I do have two Twitter accounts now. I have one uh, from ex and the other one is uh, the iTech Every Week one. Uh, but with the X-Carried one, I'll tweet like tech news and stuff like that. Uh, I might take every week one. That one's just going to, uh, I'll just give you information like when I'm releasing a new video or something like that. Or uh, very important information like a new jailbreak rele was released or something like that, I'll put on there. But that's all for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is iTech Every Week, signing out.